This video is brought to you by PayPal, helping you seize the season when holiday gift inspiration strikes. Shop the globe today. There are too many great shows airing right now to watch them all, but at the very least, binge these gems. You know, you he about? picked up a smoke detector and he's using it in a this band. This is on TV. Well, that's not, you know, well, just, you, ha you have to wait and see. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best TV shows of 2017. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at the very best 2017 had to offer. The shows don't necessarily have to have started airing in 2017, but they should have aired new episodes at the very least. Number 10, Legion. This is David. One son. Take my hand. 2017 brought us a few shows connected to the X-Men universe, and the best by far was the critically acclaimed Legion. In addition to dominating the silver screen this year in Beauty and the Beast, star Dan Stevens also took center stage on the small screen as David Haller, also known as Legion. A mutant diagnosed with schizophrenia, David is a mystery even to himself. Each episode of Legion peels David's psyche back one layer at a time, and the show manages to be harrowing, thrilling, and empathetic at the same time. This series from Fargo creator Noah Hawley definitely stands out from the crowd with its surreal atmosphere and Kubrick-esque stunning visuals. Good job. Number 9. Rick and Morty uh, Here's something that's never happened before. I'm a pickle! I'm Pickle Rick! With its long-awaited third season, this animated cult classic revealed no signs of becoming any less hilarious or thought-provoking. Hardcore fans were ecstatic when the season premiere dropped unexpectedly on April Fool's Day. In what might be the show's most creative run yet, Rick and Morty expanded upon its already immersive universe with superhero team-ups, deleted memories, and an unsettling trip to the Citadel. Even Rick turning into a pickle was delivered with badass results. We can only hope this series will last for at least nine seasons, with enough Szechuan sauce to go around. That's what this is all about, Morty. Szechuan. That's my one-armed man. I'm not driven by avenging my dead family, Morty. That was fake. I I'm driven by finding that McNugget sauce. Nuggets. I want that Mulan McNugget sauce, Morty. Number eight, Big Little Lies. It all goes back to that incident on orientation day. And at the root of it was Madeline. Mackenzie. This adaptation of Leanne Moriarty's novel had audiences fixated on the television every week and chatting up a storm at water coolers the next day. The story follows several families that have seemingly perfect lives, but trouble lurks in paradise. While Jean-Marc Vallée's sharp direction and David E. Kelly's darkly comedic writing were integral to the show's success, it's the all-star ensemble that made this material spring to life. Reese Witherspoon, Shailene Woodley, and Laura Dern show off some of their best work. But the MVPs are Nicole Kidman and Alexander Skarsgård, with their disturbing portrayal of domestic abuse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't. After winning eight Emmys, there's already talk of a second season. Number seven, Better Call Saul. Bachelor buttons. Okay. Release of the Valley. Well, I'll believe it when I see Daisies. it. Daisies, Daisies don't tell. Now I've got something to look forward to. <laughs> Better Call Saul has evolved into something much more than a Breaking Bad spinoff. It's a fascinating character study in its own right that redefines what a legal drama can be. In season three, Jonathan Banks and Ray Seahorn once again turned in strong supporting performances, while Giancarlo Esposito finally returned as Gus Fring. May I clean this for you? We have alcohol wipes. I know, it's been in worse places. However, the driving force behind this season was the relationship between Bob Odenkirk's Jimmy and Michael McKean's Chuck. Much like Walter White and Hank Schrader, the audience wasn't sure if they should side with the crooked con man or the man of law. Their sibling rivalry reached its boiling point in the episode Chicanery, one of 2017's most riveting hours of television. Do you have anything else? No, nothing further. Number six, Stranger Things. While the episode Chapter 7 admittedly slowed the narrative down, Bitchin. Bitchin. 
Season 2 of Stranger Things was an otherwise stellar follow-up to its game-changing predecessor. In this sophomore season, the Duffer brothers expanded upon the dark, inventive world they've created, while also dishing out plenty of nostalgic throwbacks. Of course, it's the timeless characters that have made this series special. These nine new episodes not only furthered several character arcs, but also introduced a few welcome newcomers, like Mad Max. The show even explored several dynamics audiences never knew they wanted to see. Dustin and Steve might sound like an odd pairing, but their bromance is one for the ages. Oh, and best of all, Barb got some overdue justice. Barbara Holland, who died due to exposure to an experimental chemical asphyxiant, which had leaked from the grounds of the lab. Number five, Master of None. You know what Italian word I love? Allora. <laughs> I don't even know what it means. Allora. People say it all the time. Allora. Hey, what are you doing? Allora. What does it mean? Well. Really? Yeah, just well. <laughs> Aziz Ansari has evolved into a truly gifted actor and storyteller. Master of None, which he co-created with Alan Yang, went to some unexpected places in season two. While the storyline primarily remained focused on Dev's love life, the showrunners weren't afraid to shift attention to supporting players like Denise, who came out to her mother, Angela Bassett, in the Emmy-winning episode Thanksgiving. This particularly ambitious episode took the main cast out of the equation, shining the spotlight on several characters we've never seen before and may never see again. The only thing better than binge watching this show would be binge eating some of Dev's delicious pasta. Keep practicing your English, it's very bad. Thank you. Allora! <laughs> Number four, Twin Peaks The Return. I'll see you again in 25 years. In the final episode of the original Twin Peaks series, Laura Palmer tells Special Agent Dale Cooper that she'll see him in 25 years. The fact that Showtime brought this cult show back in 2017 is either a giant coincidence or the most ingenious example of foreshadowing ever. Over the past decade, we've seen several shows that were prematurely canceled get a second chance. It was a dream come true when Twin Peaks The Return was officially announced, and David Lynch and co-creator Mark Frost did not disappoint. This 18-episode limited series remained true to its predecessor, with a mystifying narrative structure, bizarre imagery, and subtle humor. Dougie Jones. Number three, Game of Thrones. Do you believe me now, Clegane? Do you believe we're here for a reason? As much as haters like to nitpick that convoluted plan to capture a White Walker, deep down, everyone knows that Game of Thrones was friggin' awesome this year. The penultimate season of HBO's epic fantasy series saw Cersei, Daenerys, and Jon Snow at the height of their powers. The Iron Throne's top competitors found a common enemy in the Night King, however. With the fate of Westeros hanging in the balance, alliances were made, families reunited, romances blossomed, hearts were broken, loyalties were tested, revelations were revealed, and, of course, fan favorites died. We all have our own theories on how the series will end, but one thing is for certain. The walls have come tumbling down. When the snows fall and the white winds blow, the lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. Number two, The Leftovers. You're insane. There's a glass in your hair. Despite being one of the most critically acclaimed shows on television, The Leftovers failed to gain much traction either with audiences or major awards groups. Nevertheless, the show's third and final season solidified this drama's status as an unsung masterpiece. When it debuted, viewers probably thought they were just gonna get a show about the rapture. As the story unfolded, though, it became clear that The Leftovers was something much more profound, a show about how society responds to tragedy and how we're all searching for a greater purpose in this crazy world. Above all else, it was a beautiful love story, with Justin Thoreau and Carrie Coon both delivering powerhouse performances. I believe you. And since it was an especially strong year for TV, here are several honorable mentions. All of my heroes are being tortured. Yes, I'm afraid so. If a list of Hanover Hot Moms seems dumb to you, you're not wrong. But Sam does these mini side investigations from time to time. They usually end up on the cutting room floor. Now, we have extreme violence between strangers. Where do we go? when motive becomes elusive. The other night, I followed you like you asked me to. He snuck out of the apartment around 2 a.m. 
and met up with Angela. She knew it was him. Ever wonder what it's like for them to be objectified? Object to who? You gotta slow down, kid. Just a guinea from Brooklyn. It means treating a person as a thing. Number one, The Handmaid's Tale. Welcome to the friggin' loony bin, right? While Netflix and Amazon have left their mark in this golden age of television, Hulu became the first streaming service to take home a series prize at the Primetime Emmys. The Handmaid's Tale not only won outstanding drama series, but also awards for writing, directing, and acting as well. And we can't think of a more deserving honoree, as few shows haunted and enthralled audiences in 2017 quite like this tour de force. Elizabeth Moss gives the performance of her career as a fertile woman forced to become a concubine. The Handmaid's Tale uses its dystopian sci-fi to deal with horrifying realities from our own world, making it an important viewing experience. Under his eye. Under, Under his, his eye. eye. This video has been brought to you by PayPal. This holiday, seize the season at millions of online retailers. Shop the globe today. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.